I'm Spencer Carroll. And I'm David Walsh. Welcome to this week's edition of News Flash. We'd like to take this time to welcome back our VCS students, faculty, and staff. We hope everyone had a wonderful spring break as we count down to the final nine weeks of the school year. For the first time at St. Al, all 10th and 11th graders will have the opportunity to take the ACT during the regular school day next Tuesday, March 29th. Please get plenty of rest the night before and come properly prepared to do your best. If you're not paid yet, please see Ms. Winkler. Inductions for the National Junior Honor Society, National Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta will be held Thursday, March 31st at the gym. Congratulations to all the current members and new inductees for their ongoing dedication to academics. Our ninth graders attended their class retreat on Wednesday at St. Michael's Catholic Church. It was a day full of peer ministry, small group discussions, and team building exercises. Thanks to the St. Al retreat team for planning a special day for these freshmen. Spring is always such a busy time of year, so please save these days for these upcoming events. The Prayer Labyrinth, April 13th, Prom, May 7th, Athletic Awards, May 15th, Underclassmen Awards, May 17th, Senior Awards, May 19th, and the Baccalaureate Mass, May 23rd, along with Graduation, May 24th. Last week, VCS took off for our annual spring break. With more on how students enjoyed the week, we go to Christine Wallace. Thanks, David. So, Ryan, what did you do for spring break? I played baseball with my friends, and we hung out a lot. So, Mason, what did you do for spring break? Uh, during spring break, I went to stay with my uh, older brother, who was a college football player in Alabama. Uh, just follow him around and try to shadow him and see what hopefully my future holds. So, Malachi, what did you do for spring break? Uh, I flew to Utah, and we climbed the mountains. I went skiing. I saw some cool bison. Then we had to head back to Las Vegas during St. Patty's Day. It was pretty cool. Some green lights, and yeah. So, Gabby, what did you do for spring break? Well, I went to Baton Rouge to compete in a dance competition where I competed my tap solo and three other groups, and I got some trophies and had some fun. Thanks, Christine. Now we go to Gabby Andrews with this week's Teacher of the Week. Thanks, Spencer. This week on Teacher of the Week, we're here with the newest member of the staff, Miss Emery. She teaches art and yearbook. So, what's it like being at St. Al so far? It's been a lot of fun. The kids are great. All the other teachers have been really nice. I like it a lot. And what made you to make the decision to teach here? Well, it just seemed like a really good opportunity to get a different environment and a different way to share my skill and just see what the kids can teach me. <laughs> Thank you. Make sure to say hey to her in the halls. Thanks, Gabby. Now we go to Will Keen with our St. Al Wishes Sports Update. Thanks, David. Our St. Al Wishes track team will travel to a meet at Jackson Prep next Wednesday. We wish them good luck during this meet. The St. Aloysius boys and girls golf teams were scheduled for tournaments on Tuesday, but they were unfortunately postponed due to the bad weather. The boys played yesterday too at Clear Creek Golf Course in Bovina, and they will host a tournament next Thursday at Vicksburg Country Club. Our Flash's tennis teams defeated ACCS on Monday, and they were scheduled to play on Tuesday versus MRA, but they were also postponed due to the weather. They played Wednesday versus Madison St. Joe, and Thursday versus Hartfield. They will play tomorrow in the Vicksburg Invitational and next Friday versus Capaya. We would like to wish them good luck in these matches. The Flashes baseball team unfortunately lost to Central Hines by a score of 5-2 on Monday. They finished off this week playing at Central Hines yesterday. They will also play there tonight and tomorrow. They will travel to Capaya next Tuesday and they will host Capaya next Friday. There were tryouts last Friday for next year's cheer and flashette teams. Congratulations to all the new and returning ladies to these teams. That was your weekly sports update. Now we go to David Wallace with the weather. David? Thanks, Will. I'm your weatherman, David Wallace. Today and this weekend, it's going to be sunny with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. Going into next week, it's going to be partly cloudy with highs in the 80s and lows in the 50s. And as the week draws to an end, it's going to be partly cloudy with highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s. During school this week, we had some pretty crazy weather. With a flashback to earlier this week is our sports reporter, Will Keenan and me, during a tornado warning. Hello, this is special reporter Will Keen here with our news flash weatherman, David Wallace. Yeah, if you can't tell, there's a tornado going on right now. We've been here for about an hour in this hallway. 
About an hour. Yeah, about an hour. Real windy outside, rainy. The St. Aloysius faculty was planning on letting us go home at 11.30, but just minutes before our dismissal, they decided that it would be unsafe to allow us to go home at that time. So we are currently waiting for the storm to pass. Stay safe out there, Flashes. This is Will Keen. This is your weatherman, David Wallace, chasing tornadoes. <laughs> that was some pretty crazy weather. And now to Rachel with our Saint of the Day. Thanks, David. Today's Saint of the Day is St. Francis of Assisi. He founded three different religious orders and is the patron saint of Italy, animals, and peace. And now for this week's fun fact. Daylight savings time began in the U.S. in 1918 so that there would be more daylight to build military equipment for World War I. However, it wasn't actually made standard practice until 1966. Recently, there's been a push to stop daylight savings time altogether. Personally, I would love not having to get up an hour earlier every spring. And now back to our lead anchors, Spencer and David. Thanks, Rachel. That's all the time we have for you today. This is Spencer Carroll. And this is David Walsh. Thank you for tuning in to this week's report. And we'll see you next week for another News Flash. Flash.